I should calm down And then I'm overthinking everything about you y'all welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here today's video is a real life clean with me so i wanted to start off with some coffee but you'll notice in this video i have a couple outfit changes there the boys are running around everywhere um it's just a, pretty much a hot mess and i also didn't get everything done that i wanted to get done because we ended up uh having a little bit of a family emergency so that's why this video is a little bit shorter than i wanted it to be but I hope that you get some motivation from what you do see. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you So I started off the day by making our bed, which is a task in and of itself because we have Parker's toddler bed, toddler bed in the floor on one side and the playpen that Oliver sleeps in on the other side so you can see me struggling a little bit now I do not make my bed every single day in fact I hardly ever make my bed but I feel so much more accomplished when I get the bed made Now this is where I get into some actual real life clips. I have to keep getting up to get Oliver because we do not have any baby gates up anywhere. So he is running in the kitchen, he's running into the bedrooms, and you see Parker running around everywhere, me getting on to him, um, all while I'm trying to get the laundry folded. And then Parker is just being so cute, I have to hug him, and he tries to help me out a little bit with the laundry. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? Will you let me down? Before I'm too invested, you should take it easy. here I just wanted to take a second to introduce myself my name is Krista here with balancing the Bex. I am a stay-at-home mom to two little boys one is Parker who is three years old and then one is Oliver who is 11 months old he will be one in August and I've been married to my husband Jared for almost four years now and we live in a small apartment here in Georgia we love our life and we love sharing our lives with you on my channel you will find a lot of cleaning motivation lifestyle and family vlogs and cooking every once in a while i hope that you will decide to join us and become part of our family Cause we could be so 
This is actually the next day that I started cleaning up in the living room, as you can see, by the change of clothes. Um, I did not get to clean up the living room or anything like that the day before because the boys were acting so crazy. So I just wanted to get it done the next day and just not make a big deal about it. That's part of real life though. Sometimes you don't get to get your house spotless clean like you want it. And actually I didn't get as much done as I wanted to because like I said in the beginning of the video we had a family emergency so I didn't get to clean anything else before this video needed to go up. So all you see me cleaning in this video is the living room. Does anybody else's kids just constantly push their toys underneath the couch? I find so much stuff underneath their couches, it is unreal. This is something that I have to do every single day and it's actually a pet peeve of mine even though I'm the one that mainly does it is we leave our shoes out everywhere instead of putting them up in the shoe bin like we're supposed to. I need to get better about that but it just it happens sometimes and then sometimes also Oliver likes to pull down the shoes and play with the shoes. going to do a quick sweep and mop of just the living room. I didn't do the hallway because it wasn't really needed. Um, I'll do that whenever I deep clean the house. Turn it up, windows down, we sing along. The summer night has just begun. Let's have some fun Oh, this 
The last thing that I'm going to do is fix our little decorations we have here on the TV stand from where the boys like to push and play with them a little bit. So I'm going to fix that up before I go to bed and that's actually going to be the last thing that I do and that is going to be the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and that you got some motivation. Don't forget to like and comment down below and subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every single week. I try to do it at least twice a week. Sometimes life gets in the way but I'm trying to get on a better schedule. So come over here and join my family and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye y'all.